Hi everybody and welcome back to this episode of Jeopardy. A quick score update. Emily is at $1,800. Megan is at $1,400. Carly is at $2,200. And to no one's surprise, Zane is in the lead with $13,000. Here are the remaining categories. Zane, it's your turn. Go ahead and pick one. I'll take drug application for two hundred. dollars These two alternate drugs treat the influenza virus in the same way. Emily. What is Tamiflu and Rapabab? Good. Go ahead and pick another question. Let's finish off the category. This process is the main way the noraminidase targets influenza A and B viruses. Megan. What is the removal of the amide functional group? Sorry, that's not what we're looking for. Zane. What is removal of the terminal sialic acid residue? That is correct. Pick again. Can I go to functional groups for 300? This functional group acts as a scaffold for the substituents and keeps the molecule nearly flat. Carly. What is dihydropyran? Very good. Maybe you can catch up to Zane. What's your next choice? I'll take functional groups for 400. These functional group substituents could have ionic salt bridge interactions. Zane. That's an easy one. What are the carbonyl and guanidine groups? Once again, that is correct. You know the drill. I'll take drug target for 200. Video daily double. I'll make it a true daily double. Of course you will. This non-covalent interaction is how the noraminidase complex interacts with zonamivir. Here's a video representation. What is hydrogen bonding? That is correct, and you now have an even more commanding lead. What is your next pick? I'll go with drug target for 500. This type of inhibition is how zonamivir targets influenza A and B. Megan. What is competitive inhibition? <laughs> that is correct. Take your pick of the remaining categories. I'll pick drug target's function and implication for 400. This is the main reason why the cleavage of sialic acid is effective against influenza. Carly. What is preventing the replication of the virus? That is right, and you now have $2,900. The last question on the board is worth $500. This signaling molecule was produced by virally infected cells to promote inflammation. Emily. What is pro-inflammatory cytokines? That's right. A score update before we move into the final Jeopardy question. Megan has $1,500. Emily has $2,500. Carly has $2,900. And Zane is way in front with $27,600. Contestants, make your wagers. The final Jeopardy question is, this is directly involved with the implication of disease such as influenza, because it helps the virus invade the host cell, which initiates the innate immune response. Emily, what do you have down? What is neuraminidase? And I wagered $200. That is correct. And now you have $2,700. What is your response, Carly? What is neuraminidase? And I wagered zero dollars since Zane is so far in front. That is correct. And you're probably right. What is the point? How about you, Megan? Hmm. What is neuraminidase? And I wagered $1,500. That is correct. And you now have $3,000. Last but not least, Zane. I put down histidines and I wagered all my money to try and beat the high score. I put down histidines. I wagered all my money to try to beat the high score. 
In a huge turn of events, Megan is the winner of Jeopardy! Biochem Edition. Thanks for joining us and tune in again next time.